There is a brand new chef in the kitchen. His name is Dermot O'Leary. <sighs> this is your moment, my dear. This is my moment. <laughs> this is my kitchen moment with you. Look at, his, look at his little apron. He's got his little apron on. Uh, I'm cooking a dish called... I thought that was on. I'm cooking a dish called carne asada. Yeah. Um, so carne asada, uh, translated in Spanish, a Mexican dish. It's steak. Yeah, it's kind of... It's roast meat, really, yeah. Um, so... Obviously, you know, we saw Andy earlier on. When I first started working for Andy in T4, I we went to Los Angeles a lot. Yeah. And then obviously with judges' houses, we go over there and a few of my mates have moved over there. Um, and Mexican cooking is huge in Southern California. And one of my best friends, Drew, lives over there. And every time I go and visit Drew, he cooks me this on the barbecue. So it's a kind of a barbecue dish. Oh, the it's kind of the end of um, barbecue season, I guess, but you could still make this. I prefer to make it in a barbecue than on the grill. It's a, it's a lovely alternative to... So is to, that just like a hot plate a, you've exactly got on the Exactly that, cooker. yeah, well. yeah, yeah, yeah. I prefer to make it in a barbecue, because with a barbecue, I've got just like a kettle barbecue, like you like you know, seal it over yeah. like the Weber, but it steams it as well, so it kind of cooks them in there. So this is a little bit different, but it's a lovely alternative to a Sunday... Um, so I'm just going to turn it up really high. Yeah, fine. It's a lovely alternative to, to a Sunday roast. I really enjoy it. I'm excited, right? So... Do your thing, babe. Thanks, Bubba. So, um... Bavette steak, flank steak, skirt steak. It's uh, Bavette steak is, is the French way of calling it. It's, it's a pretty cheap cut of meat, to be honest with you. So it's half the price of fillet and is pretty it? much half the price of sirloin. And you can get a good, like a kilo for about 14 quid. That, that will serve, you know, a good four people or three people or two people with a, bit of, with a bit of leftovers. But what it does, what it is, it's really lean steak, but what it really needs is a good bit of tenderizing, yeah? Oh, a bit of a so if, you, if I just cook this now on there, it would be. It would taste. You're gonna beat it. It would. It would taste pretty tough. No, you marinate it. So oh, I made this okay. kind of almost the tail end of the summer, um, and uh, I made it for our neighbours. And I put them. I put it in really simple kind of marinated rub, and I put it in for uh, like maybe four or five hours. You can even leave it overnight in the fridge in a bag. Oh, it's gonna taste nice. Exactly. So then, yeah. So what I try and do. So you have like a, a rub, spice rub, yeah. and a marinade. So you don't need to do both of these. Sometimes you can just literally. Use any of these. These are some great rubs that I brought in. The Pitmaster one. DJ Barbecue's got one. Sometimes they just like to use spiced paprika. And uh, these guys, two tribes, uh, do a good one as well. But it's great to make your own. So this is a great recipe that my buddy Drew uh, made for me. It's, and it keeps for about three, three or so months in the cupboard. Yeah. So we've got some salt, some ground coffee, which don't worry too much about the grittiness. It's just, it just makes that lovely ground smoke. Ground coffee? Ground coffee, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Smoked paprika. Uh, some sugar, brown sugar, some cumin seeds, some dried garlic and some cayenne. That all goes in here, yeah? So and you can put it in the jar, you get one big spoon of that. And, and then so the... you just mix it all up, put it in the jar and then you can come back to Exactly, and, and then the rest of the marinade comes into play. Oh, so, can we take that home with me Of course today? you can. Oh, you get some beautiful, like, you don't necessarily need to this, it's a little bit indulgent, but these are lovely, these are like uh, chipotle chilies. You can get these, like, freeze-dried and then you put them on a slow boil and you almost rehydrate them. Uh, you can get them in, in supermarkets with a little bit of red wine vinegar. That goes in there with some more vinegar, some lime juice, because obviously the citrus helps kind of tenderise the meat. And then these lovely kind of Mexican, uh, Southern Californian kind of flavours. So tomato, uh, coriander or cilantro. Uh, we've got a bit of sug sug. I feel and like you've done this before, Derms. Well, do I've done ever, it at home, haven't I? Do, mean... do you ever, like, talk to yourself as if you're on the telly at home? <laughs> would you... Would you, have... <laughs> would you... You know would I you do. do we talked about it the other day. <laughs> when I'm at home and I'm cooking, quite often I pretend I'm on a cookery show, so I literally go... That's the problem with being on telly. You just pretend you're on telly all the time, even when you're not on telly. So, quite often I'm like, OK, guys, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take the card. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. There's your marinade done, all right? So, it's uh, pretty much done. Um, and uh, stick your steak in there overnight. Or for even for like four or five hours. So you just rub it on. Exactly, yeah. Smother, smother it all over, and then you've got this bad boy. Look at this. Okay, now hopefully. Hey. Oh, I like that. Hey, little Fonzie. Now, I know I'm cooking for you, and you don't like your your meat particularly no, you know rare. I'm the same as you. I'm I not. I just a don't want to see blood. Right. I so I like it kind of blood. crispy on the outside. And uh, and kind of like nice and pink on the inside. But I, I'm aware that some people really like it rare as well. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, I'm going to try there. it. Uh, well, hang on. Yeah. While that's going to get involved. I'm also now you can you can like can easily cook. So that needs about for, sort of medium medium well. That needs probably about five minutes on each side. Maybe a little less. It's you delicious. Like it? yeah. yeah, it's not bad, is it? And it's really so good. simple to do. Like mm. last time I cooked this, I made the marinade in the morning. I went out for the for the day. Came back, put the barbecue on. 
and then you know, I cooked it in the evening, afternoon, and and it was just it's really that simple. Is lovely. I'm going to add to this. You can do this, obviously, with tortillas. That's kind of that, like the traditional way of doing it. I'm going to carve this up for you in a minute. But as an aside, my father-in-law Roger uh, down in Broadstairs in Kent makes the best potato salad of all time. So chopped up potatoes. The secret is twofold. It's these uh, tiny, tiny chopped up beautiful white onions that you can get on the cards. What's uh, the difference between a white onion well, and Well, it's, it's, it's a really subtle taste to mm, a white onion. Nice. Same as a spring onion, yeah? Um, we, hey, listen, we've got my other TV wife over there. Do you want to bring her over? Oh, my goodness. Come in here. Joanna, buddy. come in. Hello. Oh, I've got some parsley, <laughs> really Joanna, fine chopped up garlic. Oh, my goodness, this is amazing. Uh, some salt and Your TV really, husband. really, the secret ingredient there, by the way, is white it's pepper. Lovely. I love wow. white pepper. I'm furious how black pepper won the pepper war. And actually, white pepper for me is like, is my guy. There we go. Why, why did you never cook for me when we worked together? <laughs> I'm, I'm quite gutted. Yeah, is, well, that, I... is that my one? Is that for me? Yeah, you can take it out. <laughs> <laughs> how are you? I'm very well, thanks. I can't believe how brave this is. What's made you decide you want to cook you, on national TV? Well, just because we talk about food all yeah. the time, don't we? And I don't want to be, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an OK cook. I'm not like anything well, special. you're more than an OK cook. But, this is um, lovely. this potato salad. What do you think of the potato salad? We tried it as well. This is really nice. This what, is lovely. What did you just do there, Alison? Oh, well, I was just saying, you're more than an OK cook. This is really good. Right, Tom. Well done. And then you leave that, obviously, to rest, and then you get it... Let me just... Uh, mm. second, if I the potato then... salad's really nice. Oh, is it nice? Yeah. Have you tried the steak yet? Yeah, it's oh, lovely. It's good. Yeah, really good. And then the key with uh, Bavette and skirt steak is to, is to cut when you take it off. You let it rest, but let you cut rest. against the grain. Oh. It just tastes a lot less stringy if you cut it. So if you see there... You oh, cut lovely. against the Look grain rather than through it. It's just the way the fibres run. It means you get that lovely, lovely kind of... Exactly, yeah. And oh, then hopefully sense. then you'll be... You see? Oh, that looks stunning. And then that's mm. kind of... Well, you know, Ollie in my ears just saying it looks very posh. It is posh, but it's also... It's an, it's an inexpensive way of cooking, like, a Sunday roast. That shouldn't cost you more than... I'd say there's probably... It's £14 per kilo, so... If you think if like if you can get seven a piece for seven fifty, that should feed for like it's two cheap. or three. It's cheap. It's basically cheap. It's about it tenner, yeah. It's cheap. Would you do this for like a dinner party and stuff as well? If oh yeah, well? this is my like summer kind of. And I bet everyone loves it. This is delicious. Do you mm. like it, John? Very much. It's lovely. Oh, we're there you go. Speaking to you Anything would make me happy though, because I'm so pregnant. I just want food. <laughs> so Aww. this is lovely. Just not for me yourself. to say, but she decimates. She, when we work together, she would decimate a lunch. Oh, really? Yeah, and he would ask me what I'd have for breakfast, and it would always shock him because it was always like a huge fry up. And he would have just had egg <laughs> or something. I can't wait to speak to you a little bit later. There we go. Well Carne asada with Roger's potato well salad. Well done. Well bon done. Come on, Leary, everybody.